like boosting into song and dance. So here we're at the Legion Fields development site. Wait a minute. It's 2.15. God damn it, I missed my soup. He's like, by God, what are you looking at? The registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an True. Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Uh-oh. So we're going to want to probably stay out of his Elysian way. Or else we'll probably get screwed over. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe... <laughs> yeah, Leland Monroe, that looks like kind of a strange name. But anyway, now we're at Fire Station number two, or we're going to head over there. And this is a really weird part. I don't even know what to say. It's like it's like kind of a puzzle part, but it's really easy. Yeah. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? <laughs> Who is Lynch? He's the Lynch guy you've been talking to for the last 20 minutes, man. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. <sighs> so yeah, this game, we're almost done, you guys, we'll kind of, I mean, in terms of recording, we're almost done, about four more cases, I think, but <clears throat> I already finished them, I can't even barely remember them. Alright, it's so a fire station, no 32. He's like, finally you got rid of that ridiculous hat. Let's get him here. Yeah! But if the skipper sees us driving around. <laughs> He's like right over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's like up if he sees us. Oh, he didn't see us. Lynch. So here we go. You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Like you, you think? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Really? Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. <laughs> Yes, Phelps, Evidence quit hypothesizing. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. So this is all I'm just a bunch a of arson jargon. Arson jargon? This is the heater from the Sawyer fire. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, so this, this is, is the one he stole. So here we have Reginald Varley. And as you can tell, this is the one I was looking for. But, of course, I got confused with the one that was Matthew Ryan on it. You saw the last couple were the exact same name as was this one. So we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. A bright penny. Okay. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now the gas has oh. to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of <sighs> Tech, why do people text me sometimes? I swear, sorry. All right, so this one's really easy. Oh shit! Is this the one? Okay, so here we're gonna have to move these three items in a specific order. So now what we're gonna want to do? This is the balloon, and we're gonna want to put this over here on the right. Now you can only put them in three spots, so you can leave a, a, a little bit of room of error. But I did something like this in a wow! Holy the shit! Colurian got really close to, to that. If it's gonna ignite. Yes, and. uh yeah, I did something like this in middle school, and it was kind of cool, so uh, it's kind of easy to remember. Am I grabbing? Okay, sometimes it's it's weird grabbing the things, and you're going to put this on the left side. This is the Bunsen burner, and then over here we have the... No, no, Cole, put that back. No, I said... Uh, game. Put that right there, please. Thank you. See how close this hand... Okay, there. Yeah, some of the puzzles in this game are really weird. All right, there we go. Good, your regulator's in position. <laughs> and then it cuts back to us. <laughs> and then it cuts okay. back to him. I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. <laughs> God, this face got really weird the there, so alright, let's turn on the There we go. Whoop <laughs> bang. Cole's like, God damn it, I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> so that's how it's done. <laughs> You're like a little science Maybe. experiment there here, God. I have adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take Great, now we have to actually go to Insta here, and this is, uh, Just like, you guys, this just drags on. I mean, I do like the game and all, it's just... It's a little... I, I just... Maybe it's because I'm playing it so many times over and over, it's just getting old. That's just... That's just my theorem. Come on, we can't climb up this thing, man. Wait, where's our car? Is it out here? Uh... No, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. It, it. The police, or the fire truck. Oh, here it is. Good. I was going to say the fire truck is registered as being our last car. You know now we're going to head over to the Insta Heat Factory for more questions, more evidence. Blah, 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 blah. 
Jeez. All right, where, there you are, Herschel. You old thugger, you. Jeez. Show? So, yeah. The next fire. Yeah. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. Hell yeah. I mean, hopefully you know, there aren't outdated or anything, and they're just trying to make a quick a buck out of manufacturing new models that actually work He's like a not piece like of shit, but... We don't really have any credible evidence to pursue them with. Uh, God, I'm already almost done. In the next cutscene, I think I'll probably run and grab a soda really fast just off from the next room, because I drink my drinks way too fast, and it's just... It's hard for me to record without drinking something because my voice horses up really badly and that, <laughs> that piece of sentencing English came out really poorly, but... Anyway. Alright, so now let's go in here. Now, we actually don't have to talk to anyone. We could just go straight in through that left door and uh, go in through there. But it's actually kind of funny what some of the civilians will say in light of Cole Phelps' presence, so... so you're the first in this family born Here's without what I heard. Cops caught the guy who did the dahlia, but they covered it up. It's some kind of big conspiracy. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh God! All right, let's talk to this lady over here really fast. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. And this is another one of those like teenager interns who. You should find him in his office. And this lady looks like the same lady as in the very first case on the shoe store. But anyway, her name is Ivan Res. His name, the guy who does this. And by God, the brand new Insta Heat is so sexy. Be selling these like hot cakes. <laughs> hot cakes? Who says that anymore? Jesus Christ. Now we can go in here, and this is where some Everybody? of the people are talking and say some kind of funny that shit. That's the creep. Walked out on his wife. He says that like out in the open. Look at his hair! Oh my god, did he try and give himself like a mohawk or something? You know how dangerous that is? What the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, walking behind you probably because you can't control your bowel movements. God. Let's see what I'm else. Sock the hell out of you. Okay. Say something else. Sometimes they'll just stop though. Help me out. Talk to the guy in charge. Okay, see I know that. Said. I hate that because uh, there's actually like an option. In like your statistics that tell you Am like something here? <laughs> that tell you how many times you've asked for help and that's really annoying that kind of is annoying because I don't want help but he still gives it to me when you press X she's not gonna say anything I'm Are just going to the Mocambo this Friday? Any ideas what the hell talk to the guy in I already know what to do, do what he says. I have explained this numerous times and we already looked at the poster so let's go head over here and what not Bram, but there's the second door I was talking about. We can now. Oh, there's why are there lights over on those lockers? So let's go over here and talk to this jerk. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? He's like, what is this? Tell me, what is this? Let me take a look. So we have a problem. This has been tampered. <laughs> Like I noticed that right away. So this is what we saw in the introduction cut from diaphragm. What the hell? Gas flows across from here to here. This looks like a sexual toy of interesting, strange proportions. It's been reversed. Really? It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Well, that sucks. All right. So with that, we've got a couple of questions. Instaheat Model 70. Let's ask that. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? No. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Wait, you don't think anything is wrong? But wait a second. This is the Instaheat Model 70, and the new one that we just saw the poster for would be selling like hotcakes. What are you talking about, man? Doubt. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed. <laughs> it's the demand. God, did you guys see how surprised he looked? God, Cole just looks so cool. I don't even know why. It just like it baffles me how he could be that surprised. They're not all safe either. So there's that. So we got Ivan Rasik's uh, statement, which basically is saying that you know, yeah, these things are pretty much a piece of shit, and as long as people are buying them, we'll still make them. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. All right. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Wait. So they're fully licensed and accredited, 
And we saw two names on there. If you recall, it was uh, Ryan and Varley, I do believe. And uh, with that, I think you're lying. I think you're lying. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm starting to talk like Cole Phelps over here. Mark. Give me some answers or I'm going to fucking beat your head into this wooden cabinet. And how are you going to prove that, detective? To name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. One of them? Well, hey, luckily for you, I can name two. Now, you can choose the heater serviced by Ryan or the heater serviced by Varley, and both will give you the same exact answer. But because Varley's such a weird name and it has a Y in it, I'm going to choose that one. I guess I know Ryan also has a Y in it. I'm just... Never mind. Sometimes people can't take jokes. People still think I don't know what Lenoir actually is. I like, know what it is. <laughs> If I had to explain it in every single episode, that'd get detected. really annoying. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So there we have it. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. He's like, please. Okay, I'll get it. I like how he like says it like Cole asked him so viciously. All right, so here, um, all right, so there's a dozen of them. So we can take a look at those. So now I have a list of gas filters. Now what's really stupid? What is really okay? There's there's something incredibly stupid about this next part. So yes, I want he wants to run it by R and I, and see if any of these guys. He's gonna read off every so single one of these problem. names incredibly right fast, and the lady on the other line is gonna give us. So we happen to memorize all those names, and the lady on the other line is gonna give us the three suspects who actually have criminal records. She was able to look that up in record speed in the 1940s. In under like five seconds, from all those, I think, 12 names or something, she's able to find out which ones had criminal records, read them off to us, and tell them where they're working. The Just, you, it's something you guys have to watch, I swear to God, it's ridiculous. Operator, like, it's, it's so, it's almost over the top, but god damn it, that suit over there looks like Indiana Jones. But anyway, so, Phelps, one, two, four, here we have the super Google Mathematic lady. There we go. It's the same lady that's always talking to us all the time. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. So right here. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter. You guys see how fast Robert, he's reading this? House Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. <sighs> I and mean, then wait, just wait for it. Well, there we go. One name. This doesn't make any sense to me, you guys. I mean, it just doesn't. Not for nice. me. <sighs> so, hey, Matthew Ryan, the guy that we saw before, that was in the exploded inside of the finger. Anyone else? And then wait a second. Let's wait for it. Ooh. Wow. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. That's such a weird thing to say, you've been a big help, young lady. But God, did you guys see how fast she got that information? We got three criminal records of someone he rattled the names off a list that he had written down in his notebook, but... Alright, so now, wait a second, we have to go talk to him again. Because he's going to show off into the lockers. Yeah. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. So what yeah, about this is the point where it's definitely a becoming a video game now. The immersion is becoming less Beverly. subtle. Where is he? Beverly in Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. <laughs> it's like, He's it's okay, we'll only harass three of them. <laughs> yes, do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Hey, Clemens. Keep quiet. <laughs> Ah, I'll never forget that part. God, Rusty. Ah. In my rusty cage! Which is actually coming in a couple days, which is pretty cool, yo. Now we have a couple of lockers here. We're going to go and pick this one. Walter Clemens. And here, we've got a couple of things. We've got this... Wait a second. Law and Authority, an anarchist essay. Pierre Kropotin, Price the Fab Sins. So... Chapter 1. When ignorance reigns a society into a disorder in the minds of... Blah, bored. Boring! We're out. Right. With that, we're gonna go check this middle one over here. Matthew Ryan. Oh my god, this guy has a ton of them! Damn! So here we've got another one. So we have Ryan's our anarchist pamphlet. Looks like he's the one distributing them. And he is, he's like a Playboy bunny off to the right. We already read this. Ryan wants the world to be a better place. Don't we all? Not Cole Phelps. He just thinks everyone's a bit of lies. And here we got random plier things. That has nothing to do with anything. 
Don't you think that could have been used to unscrew the regulator valves? And we got the last one right up here, Reginald Varley. And wait, what the? Wait a minute. Paperwork repels mosquitoes. Thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Wow. And as you guys know, the uh, coil here, the mosquito bugs. coils, will burn and it'll help make the explosion go boom. And the more of it you use, then the farther away you can get. So, hmm, it looks like this could have helped in the uh, exploding actions. And that is You know that a mosquito all. coil takes an hour to burn down, racing? Yes. No, I didn't know Gives that. you time to run. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Yeah, all right. I got work waiting. Uh, so now we can leave, and uh, actually there are a couple of cars here we can pick up. So Clemens, Ryan, Varley. I think you can pick whichever one you want without consequence, but why did it just fade to black there? Please let me know why. Is it so that we could see a loading screen? Thank you very much. You had to load the uh, city of Los Angeles for me. Oh, and here we've got a kind of a weird omnipresent cutscene of somebody... Preparing to do some work. Like, oh, trying to get some money in. Oh, God, here he goes tampering with shit. And does he have to wait until he gets there? Can't he just do it in some secluded area where no one will be able to see him? Nope. So, is this our man? Nobody knows. But his hair is graying, and he looks gay. Just I don't even know. Just talking. Just talking. The worst thing you can do in, in an LP is not talk, and it's better to talk about something than not talk at all. And... So we can drive one of these insta-heat things, but that truck that I was just here five seconds ago is gone. <laughs> He's like, house, you asshole. Alright, so well, that's done. We can... Is that... Uh, and we got... That's the same one. Uh... Crap, I don't think... I don't think this is the same one. This is one we've already driven before, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes it gets hard to tell. I don't even know why I'm doing this. You guys don't even want to see this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man! Alright, so let's get out of here. My phone's ringing. It scared me kind of because it's like I, my foot was almost on it. Sometimes I dial my phone on accident. It's weird. I don't like dialing my phone on accident. It makes it real boring. But first, I think we're going to head off to Walter Clemens. I think I just go down the list You're usually. The so we're going to go to Clemens' work site. Where exactly are we going? So, yes. So um, now these guys, we have to do a couple of uh, questions. And for the other two, we actually have to chase them down. So... They actually have they actually run because they think we're arresting them or something, which I guess technically we could be. <laughs> All so here we are at Clemens worksite. He's just standing there, not doing nothing. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Jesus. Big <laughs> LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. <laughs> okay, okay. God, look What's at him. He looks so. He want. looks like I don't know. For some reason, I just get a very John Leguizamo vibe off of him. But here we've got knowledge of Varley. You know Reginald Varley? No. Can't say I do. Wait, you don't know him, but you you work with him, and his locker is like a couple from yours. But we're gonna say doubt. Detroit PD is after Reginald Varley for murder. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be lying. I thought you were a good well, cop, Cole Phelps. Kickbacks from some developer. Oh, God, you guys. This has got can. really chilly in here. Oh, can you guys remember I was complaining about it being too hot? I think by now it would be like 10, 15 episodes ago for you, but whatever. Employment with NCE. <sighs> I contract for them. So what? Yeah, there's a ton of... Uh, uh, questions and arson, which is really weird. He's like, God, what's that? Oh shit, I just farted. Doubt. Is he hires arsonists, does it? <laughs> Worked as a fitter all my life. Yeah, it's just Put like kind of like Microsoft and Sony are hiring hackers to help their network the against them. It's kind of like the movie Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio, where in the, the end, house. spoilers, they yeah, hired Leonardo right. DiCaprio to help counter to find counterfeited checks. God, Sorry for some reason I like that movie. It's probably the jazz soundtrack, right but thing. so yeah, there he was actually congratulating him on doing something bad, but whatever, it it, it, was, it all worked out in the end. So here we have Matthew Ryan. Don't know the name. Don't know the name. Wait, you don't know the name of Matthew Ryan, the man who handed you an anarchist pamphlet? You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? 
Mm-mm. Been following me to meetings? He's like, you knew it. <clears throat> now we have a lot of evidence now, and these are kind of hard now to kind of differentiate, but we have Clemens Anarchist pamphlets. And as you remember, no, wait, this one. So, so these are the ones for distribution. Obviously, Matthew Ryan had to have given it to Clemens, and Clemens saying he didn't know it meant he was lying. So uh, we're going to have to say, oh, shit. No, wait a second. Walter Clemens. Oh, God damn it. I forgot which one we give it. Oh, God. I can't remember if it was... No, no, no. It has to be this one. Make sure you do this one. Found there. Yes. Okay. Walker, yeah, that's one. That one's really misleading, though, because Ryan, if he's the one giving it out, if you say that one, I'm pretty sure you might get it wrong. Yeah. So you did know him. Alright, there we have it. God, I had like a brain shit fart fuck cunt head in my brain, but... In our guy. Yeah, so this is the only one that actually gets to walk free. Man, lucky bastard. What a pest. LOL. But anyway, now we're going to head off you into uh, Barley's work site now. And this one is uh, not really too bad, but we want to make sure we get them pretty fast or else we're going to get screwed over, so. Just stupid chase scenes. Barley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. They say we take the doubt out of the equation. So, like in this one, um. You nervous? For Barley, we actually have to chase him on foot, but for Ryan, I, we have to chase him um, in the car. And for this one, you have to make sure you chase him on foot no, really fast, or else uh, he's going to get away and you fail the mission. So, Well, you fail the case as you do every other kind. Every other, you know. the piece is still serviceable, Herschel. Yeah, so... I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. So he says he's not going to shoot, but um, when you're chasing a suspect, he'll shoot at him, him which is kind of funny. And that was weird, that camera <laughs> angle changed. But um, anyway, yeah, if you let Reginald get away, then it's going to suck for you. you have to redo it. And it's easy, like I said. We just run through a bunch of construction generic work sites. 7 p.m. on the dot. LAPD, Varley. He's like, Stop I've never shot this shoot. thing before. But uh, we have to throw off a warning shot on this asshole, and it's just kind of annoying because uh, um, there's an easy part we can get it later, but if you get too far behind, it's just going to get annoying. So you want to be careful because the cars are going to come and screw you over, as they usually do in my recordings. But, uh, there we go. So yeah, if you let him get too far, he'll get in a car, run away, and you'll have to restart. I think I said that like five times at this point. Why are you wearing all blue? It's me. Oh, I do I don't know. Why did you run from our Barley? I'm gonna take a wild guess. You're the same Reginald Barley. Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. Damn. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. And that Reginald guy looks Barley, like. I you're don't under know. arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Really? The PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Damn. Until then, your guess is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Is that so? Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take them away, officer. <laughs> 